Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly grill dome video. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to reverse sear some ribeyes and then we're going to top them with a creamy onion blue cheese topping. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the key to reverse seared ribeyes on the grill dome, in my opinion, is getting some super thick ribeyes. These guys are absolutely gigantic. Went to my local butcher and asked for inch and a half ribeyes. Um, this one has the bone in it. This one does not. You can just see how massive these things are. So the idea is that you want to cook these low and slow. Uh, just kind of for that internal temp to come up, but then they're thick enough to where you can give them a real nice sear on the outside right towards the end uh, without them getting uh, overcooked. So all you got to do is take some kosher salt and we're just going to sprinkle it on both sides. All right, that's all you're really looking to do right there and pat that in just a little bit and we're going to let these sit at room temperature for about an hour. Okay guys, for this reverse sear cook, first thing we're gonna do is put our indirect cooking rack in the down position. This really isn't gonna be used until the sear part, but we wanna go ahead and get it in there. Now we're gonna throw on our main cooking rack, and then we're gonna replace our half moon cooking rack, and then our half ceramic stone. So basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to get the grill dome preheated to about 250 degrees. We're going to cook our ribeyes indirect over on this side. We'll remove them from the heat, crank the grill dome up to a searing temp of around seven, 800 degrees, and then sear them down on the indirect cooking rack. All right guys, so we have the grill dome preheated to right around 250. You basically just wanna cook these indirect, anywhere between like 225, 275, kinda of depending on what your timeline is. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and get these beast ribeyes thrown up here over the half moon ceramic stone. Look at those things, oh my gosh, those look amazing. And I've got a, uh, wireless food thermometer uh, that has uh, two probes on it. So I'm going to be monitoring the internal temp of both of these ribeyes. So I want to keep a nice close eye on these. And then when we're about, about 15, 20 degrees shy of our target temp, which for me on this cook is a medium rare, then uh, we're gonna pull them off of the cooker and then get the grill dome cranked up to a searing temp. So we'll be back. Okay, so for our blue cheese onion sauce, it's very straightforward. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a half a stick of butter, toss it in a cast iron skillet and let that start melting. Okay, now we've got about a whole onion that I've just uh, sliced up that we're gonna toss into the butter. And all we want to do here is just light, uh, let the onion start getting nice and caramelized. All right, so now that our onions are getting nice and caramelized, this is where this recipe gets really dangerous. We're going to add some heavy cream. So you can go ahead and take a guess how healthy this is, but wait till you taste it. So all we're going to do now is we're going to knock the heat back a little bit and we just want this to reduce down just a little bit. All right, spend just a few minutes and now that our heavy cream has reduced down, we're gonna add some blue cheese. We're just gonna give this a stir until this is melted, then we're gonna pull this off of the heat and set it aside until uh, our, our ribeyes are done. All right guys, both of these steaks are right at 115, which means I'm ready to pull these from the, the indirect portion of the cook and then what we're going to do is we're just going to pull these you want these to stop cooking as much as possible so don't cover them in foil or anything just pull them set them on a plate set them inside then we're going to remove the um, 
and direct uh, the half moon rack and uh, half moon ceramic stone. And then we're gonna open up the vents and get this thing up to about seven, 800 degrees. And then we'll be back to sear them real quick. All right guys, I have the grill dome up to 700 degrees. I can't stress how important it is when you're up at this temp to make sure you burp the grill dome. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open it about four inches or so, give it a nice burp. You can see this fire is just raging. And what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and toss on our ribeyes. And all we're gonna do is let these go for about one minute per side. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lid and in one minute we'll flip them. All right, we're coming up on one minute. I'm gonna burp the dome. Be very careful here. Lift the top slowly. Don't be alarmed by the the flames and all that is perfectly normal. And then we're just gonna flip these, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do at this point, since we've flipped them, I'm gonna take some crushed black pepper, watch your hands, it's very hot. Just get up in there real quick and hit these with some pepper. And then we're gonna shut the lid for another minute. And we are coming up on the second minute burp the grill down let all that hot oxygen out open up the lid and we're going to pull these these are done just that quick that's all it takes now the important part is we're going to go ahead and shut this lid you want to shut the bottom damper completely but leave the top damper at this point, at least half the way open, and once it once the grill dome cools down around 400 degrees or so, then we'll um, shut the top damper down about a quarter of an inch of the way open, so it can get below that 300 mark where it's safe to shut it completely. All right, guys. So our ribeyes have been resting for about seven to eight minutes now. And what you want to do is you want to take your onion, your creamy onion, blue cheese sauce and just put on a plate like this because you're going to put your ribeye on top of it just like this for presentation and again these ribeyes are massive you typically probably wouldn't serve up a ribeye this big but you're just going to put that right on top of it and then we're going to go ahead and just cut into this guy Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at that right there. So that came out about mid-rare, probably closer to the medium side. And um, again, you can kind of control your end product with um, how long you keep it on the indirect side versus the sear side. So that's right where I wanted it. Let me go ahead and take a little, little taste of this. Man, I wish you guys could smell this right now. And we're just gonna get some of the cheesy onion mix in on this. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Check that out. Mmm. Gosh, that is so good. Tell you what guys, that is an incredibly simple uh, topping to make for a nice ribeye rib like this. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Um, reverse searing a steak is a really great way to, to have your internal temp dialed down. Look at that, I mean, it's just a, so beautiful how that turned out. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, and uh, subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon. Yeah.